Welcome, my friend. Today, I have a hip yoga love song for you. If you have tight or tense hips, if you find that you tend to hold emotions in your hips, this will be a beautiful yoga love song for those beautiful hips. It's also great if you tend to spend a lot of time sitting throughout the day. Let's create a loving, supportive environment. So roll out your mat, lay down your blanket for extra support, grab your props, set the mood with lighting, incense, comfy clothes, and I'll join you seated on the mat. Let's find a cross leg seated position, sitting up nice and tall, eyes gently closed or a soft gaze forward. We'll begin today's practice here, just feeling into your hips, noticing how they are feeling now, the energy, the sensations. Feel free to find intuitive movement to help feel it out. We'll revisit how our hips feel at the end of practice, so just take note of what you are feeling now for comparison. Beautiful. Let's bring your right shin in front, parallel with the edge of the mat, and once you have it, release yourself forward, letting your body guide you on how deep you fold. You can hold in sweet stillness or find a slow dance of movement, taking five breaths. Slowly lift just enough to walk your fingertips towards the left side of the mat, feeling a side body stretch traveling up through your right hip. Three breaths here. Let's walk your palms back through center. We're here for just a moment before walking yourself back up to rise. Take your time in switching your legs, lining your left shin in front, and then release yourself forward. Only folding as deep as feels good on this side. There's a good chance you will fold at a different level than of your first side. Allow your body to guide you through this practice, holding in stillness or finding a slow dance of movement for five breaths. Slowly lift just enough to walk your fingertips towards the right side of the mat, feeling your side body stretch traveling up through your left hip. Three breaths. Let's walk your palms back through center. We're here just for a moment. And walk your palms back rising. We'll make our way to hands and knees for tabletop. Find a feel good dance here, massaging and nourishing your hips. You may dance a little with cat and cow movements. Use your breath, my friend. Rock those hips. Now remember, it doesn't have to be cat cow, just finding a nourishing movement for your hips. We'll find stillness, tuck all 10 toes, and lift hips, releasing your body back into downward facing dog. Intuitive movement, connecting with your body, your hips, letting them guide the movement, lengthening and opening the back side of your legs. Three more long, slow breaths. We 
we are moving into three leg dog. So on your next inhale, lift your right toes to the sky. Let's bend your knees, stack your hips. Lift your knee, feel this hip opener. Then square your shoulders back up. Come on your next exhale, draw your knee up and in towards your chest and then step your foot down. Carefully soften your back knee to the mat. Let's glance down, front knee in line with your ankle. Slowly lift, bring your palms to your front thigh. Gently hugging your inner thighs towards one another, feeling them square up. Next, we'll bring your fingertips to interlace behind your neck. Your thumbs will point down alongside your neck. Slowly draw your elbows wide and back, lifting your heart, feeling your shoulder blades glide down your back. Your gaze is lifted, feeling an opening from the left front hip flexor traveling up. Shoulders are back and down away from your ears. Soften and lower your hands to frame your front foot. Heel to your front foot to the opposite side so you can lower your knee towards the right for pigeon pose. The more aligned your shin is with the front of the mat, the deeper the stretch. No forcing, just honoring your body right where it's at. Let's extend your back leg long behind you in one long line. Stay lifted here. Five breaths. We're targeting that left hip flexor. And when we lower here in a moment, we'll be targeting the right hip. When you're ready, slowly lower down all the way or to your forearms. You can hold in stillness or find a little movement, a little yoga dance for your right hip. Find stillness. Shift your weight into your right hip, and in your own time, bring your back leg around, placing that foot to the outside of the opposite thigh for a spinal twist. Good. Your left hand comes near your seat. On your inhale, lengthen up through the crown of your head for a nice long spine, and on the exhale, we'll twist at the navel towards the left side, wrapping your right arm around your leg. We are lengthening and opening the outer left hip and glute. Along with, along with a nourishing twist. Let's keep this length as you hold. From here, we're going to move into shoelace. So just stack your left knee on top of the right so your heels will be next to your opposite hip. Explore what it feels like to send your feet a little wider side to side. If, it's if it nicely deepens the stretch, wonderful. If it feels uncomfortable or too much sensation, honor your body and slide those heels in back towards your hips. Fingertips behind you, find your long spine. You can hold it here or begin to hinge forward. Five breaths. Lovely, let's rise and unwind your legs, extending them out long in front of you for a seated forward fold. Let's take a big breath in of love as you reach your fingertips to the sky and think up and over as you reach towards your toes on the exhale, releasing forward. Slowly rise, and in your own fashion, make your way to Downward Facing Dog.
Go ahead and take a feel good movement in down dog, recalibrating your body as it calls to you, noticing how the left and right side feel, if you feel different levels of flexibility, of openness. And we'll take that to the second side. First, moving into our three leg dog. So on your inhale, lift your left toes up to the sky. Bend your knees, stack your hips. Lift your knee as you feel this hip opener. Then square your shoulders back up. On your next exhale, draw your knee up and in towards your chest. Hold it before you step your foot through. Carefully soften your back knee to the mat and we'll glance down. Front knee in line with your ankle. Slowly rise, bringing your palms to your front thigh. Let's gently hug your inner thighs towards one another, feeling how that helps support squaring them up. And let's interlace your fingers behind your neck. Thumbs sliding down your neck on each side. Slowly draw your elbows wide and back, lifting your heart. Your gaze is lifted, feeling an opening from that right hip flexor traveling up. Shoulder blades glide down your back. Soften and lower your hands to frame your foot. Heel toe front foot to the opposite side of the mat and then lower your knee towards the left side for pigeon pose. Extend your back leg long behind you. One hand on each side, and we'll stay lifted here, puffing your chest. Five breaths, targeting that right front hip flexor. When you're ready, slowly lower down all the way or to your forearms, holding in stillness or finding a little movement, a little yoga dance for that left hip, massaging into it if you'd like. stillness let's shift your weight into your left hip and in your own time bring your back leg around placing that foot to the outside of the opposite thigh for our spi spinal twist so your right hand will come near your seat this time on your inhale lengthen up to the crown of your head and on the exhale we'll twist at the navel towards the right side wrapping your left arm around your leg lengthening and opening that right outer hip and glute Keep length as you hold here, breathing in. As you inhale, lengthen up. And as you exhale, exhale at your navel and move a little deeper into the twist. Coming into our shoelace next. So when you're ready, stack your right knee on top of your left. Heels will be near opposite hips. Explore on this side, sending your feet a little wider. Again, if it's a nice deep sensation, a feel good stretch, wonderful. But if it feels uncomfortable, there's too much sensation on your body and slide those heels back in a little closer to your hips. We'll bring your fingertips behind you, finding your long spine. Remember, you can hold it here or begin to hinge forward. Take five breaths. Notice where your body lands on this side compared to that of the first, honoring the subtleties of your body. Good. 
lovingly rise unwind your legs extending them long out in front of you coming to our seated forward fold once more so let's take a big breath in of love as we reach those fingertips up to the sky and then think up and over as you reach towards your toes on the exhale releasing forward slowly rise and in your own fashion and in your own time, make your way to downward facing dog. Taking some feel good moves here. Noticing how those hips are feeling. We'll be moving into frog pose next. So soften your knees to the mat. If you are on a hard surface, maybe grab a folded blanket for extra padding under your knees and begin to inch your knees wider side to side. You might even find it helpful to bunch up the blanket a little so you can slide your knees wider with the blanket underneath you to assist. Keep knees in line with your hips. And we want your ankles in line with your knees. Your feet will be out to the sides as well. Once you have them at a distance that provides a feel good stretch sensation, there's a good chance this one will be a little more intense than our previous ones. So you can lower yourself to a prop. You can lower to your forearms, or if it's successful, you can lower all the way down. We will hold this for several breaths. So use your breath, my friend, and send your in breath into areas that may feel tight or tense. And on your exhalations, visualize that tightness, that tension melting away, releasing from your body with your breath. As you hold uh, the sensations, they may soften. And if that happens, and if you would like, you can gently move your hips back in space a little. my friend we are very lovingly and very slowly going to come out of frog simply by sliding yourself forward to your belly once you are lowered just rock those hips a bit side to side feeling the sensations the effects of that pose feeling your body balance back out feeling your body grounded the earth beneath you When you are ready, in your own time, roll over onto your back for a few deep breaths in Shavasana, inviting the space of your hips to relax, your glutes to let go, your pelvis to soften, pelvic floor muscles. Give all your weight over and just be, taking a few moments in stillness to allow the nutrients of this practice to settle in and integrate into body, mind, and spirit. Slowly draw one knee and then the other into your chest, rocking side to side if you'd like. A moment of gratitude for carving out the time to love on your body. And let's roll over to the right side, taking a smooth steady breath in through your nose, a long slow complete rela releasing exhalation out your mouth. With your attention remaining inward, make your way to a comfortable cross-leg seated position. Sitting up nice and tall, 
long spine, hands relaxing wherever feels comfortable. Take a moment now to feel into the space of your hips, noticing how this space feels now compared to when we first stepped on the mat together. What's one word that describes the energy, the feelings, the sensations of this area? Let's take a big, beautiful breath in, circling your fingertips up to the sky, gathering love and light, palms kiss, and bring all that love and light down to your heart center. Sending love and light to you and all beings. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me for this hip yoga love song practice. I'd love for you to share the one word that described how those hips of yours felt after today's practice. Comment below. Give the video some love with a thumbs up if you enjoyed. And please subscribe to our channel to ensure you get the latest yoga love released each week and to help support our work. I'll see you on the mat again soon.